Hi guys, so in today video we are going to take a look at the famous ROM from the famous developer for the i9500 and also Note 3 Exynos version. So we are going to take a look at um <laughs> sorry I forgot uh, Infernus ROM version 4.0. So it's basically the same ROM, just a bit of a difference like in the theme, and also it has a bit improved aroma installer, I guess. Because the experience was a bit different uh, this time than flashing uh, the Ali 95 Note 5 version. So I like this ROM because it comes with the uh, like marshmallow feel uh, from the first. I don't know whether it uh, uses like a layer as I explained in the video in the past. Let's check it out. So I have not set it up. We will just check out with me. Sorry for the focus issues. I kind of like hate this camera for that. Let me just focus again. Please. Okay. Thank God. I don't know why my sc <laughs> screen guard is very reflective there. Right now. That was loud. But if you like uh, use the wiper effects. I have not selected the wiper effects uh, in this build. But if you select that. Your uh, that uh, loud mode has gone. I don't know why. It kind of worked same for the Note 5, so I selected. Uh, wow, that was fast. So I selected the sound alloy this time, not the wiper effects. So as you can see, ported from the Marshmallow, pretty good. I don't know it uh, like how it becomes very easy to port it from Marshmallow, like the setup, internet, that app which plays the Legend of the Play Store, of course. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi. Oh my God, man. No, no, please. And my whole balance has gone. As you can see, I only have five rupees. Damn, I am so poor. Let me just bring it a bit closer. Sorry for the camera flickering over there. Connection. Let me just disconnect it over here. So it will work faster. It is only like 50 to 60 kbps. And very fast in the like small cities of the India. Skip. I don't know why this thing can't be faster. They will be like, look at your new beautiful phone while we set up. Skip. And if you like disable the auto brightness, it will still measure the uh, brightness. I don't know why. Because I checked it, like I have kept uh, it on the lowest and went it in, in the sunlight without the auto brightness. And it just works like auto brightness. I don't know why. I don't know how to disable it. Because it will drain a bit of a battery. Because back in the 2013, these sensors took a lot of uh, like uh, power from the CPU. Why they will take a CPU? Set up. Whoa. There was no option to set up like a separate home screen or non apps like the Galaxy Labs feature. And there is the Galaxy S and wallpaper. Pretty cool. Something is downloading. Galaxy apps, of course. I don't know why there is an update always. And now the theme looks quite like more uh, sharp. I don't know why. Edge screen over here. And I recently just checked out the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. I have not seen that in my life. And this blur theme is like uh, much brighter. And uh, the fade effect is much more than this one. But this one also looks cute. Okay, so the developer has done the work over here. He has personally like done the theming uh, and it's quite perfect. Like no blue animation over here. On the top, let me just bring a bit closer. Also, the colors are not like the Anuprodes theme, not 5 theme. They are much brighter, much like original one. Also in the context, works pretty fine. Also the lags between the search button and the scrolling has been uh, decreased. Messages. Wow, this one looks like much polished one. Internet from the marshmallow, I guess. Yup. Marshmallow one. 
I guess there was a like swipey thing. I don't remember it. Initial impressions very fast. Let's just get rid of this. Now it looks like a Galaxy S7. Clock fully working as you can see. So I kind of hated that thing. I have to like you use the Note 4 and install like a 6.0 thing, and the clock will not work. It was kind of sad. Cause I was like used to show off to my friends. Like my friends have a Galaxy J series are very famous in India over here. So I kind of show off that my is working lifetime. As you can see, I selected for the Galaxy S6 camera. Looks pretty cool. Only thing I mainly com complain is like if you touch the like hold the focus, it will just crash right away. I kind of hated that thing, and as you can see, it starts lagging pretty bad. There's a bit of a workaround fix over here. Just do it, do it like that. And uh, as you can see, the brightness is not working. Wow. Like it's working, but it, the difference is very very minor. I don't uh, know whether you can see or not. Wow. First time in my life. Like the difference is very very minute. They check it from the lock screen. Nope, still not working. Maybe we just reboot. Wow. Let's reboot for one time. One hot reboot. But initial impressions, the theme is quite sharp. Like better than the themes on the theme store. Sorry if I talk a too bit fast. I want to keep the video short. Lately my video has been like 13 to 10 minutes. I kind of hate it. But it's good. I can explain more points. Okay. And it looks kind of like original. Like these are pretty bit a fade off. I don't know why the developer is not shifting it over here. It's not that hard. I will do it myself later on. But I think the brightness is now working. Yup, now it's working as you can see. There is a quite a considerable like mm, difference we can say. Sorry for the awkward lighting. Again my focus is not working. <laughs> as you can see over here. Some freaks on the grand two uh, forums I checked. They like actually made it uh, like Galaxy S7, like quick uh, connect is over here. Also, the nameplate is over here. Tap here to connect. This finder has been removed. I don't know. These guys are very like intelligent ones. Music looks like lollipop. There is some guy who uploaded like the proper marshmallow one. I will install it later on. As you can see, April 14 works pretty fine. Also the internet looks like quite different from this. This has like a bit of shade over here. We check that. Sorry. Email smart manager. I guess that uh, this thing does app lock. Okay. Shit. This thing has that one too. Okay. Let's just disable that. If you seen my note 5 uh, video. This is quite uh, like hectic. No, I don't want to do that. Please. Let me out. Okay. Wow, and this is my favorite one. I was going to like replace this with the these corners, but the developer has done it himself. Pretty cool. Let's go to settings. And then this thing looks like pretty good. Actually. Let's just like keep it on cinema. I like it. Ambient display, I don't use it. How about device? 5.1.1. And uh, if you guys like ask me every time, like what is your daily driver, what is your favorite ROM? This is my favorite ROM, Infernus 4.0. Like this thing is heaven. Radio. Amazing work. Like if you back in uh, 2013, if you think. Like what you will do with your Galaxy S4 in the future. This is the future. Thanks to the all developers, especially Alien and Device. Apple Watch 2. I can't afford that. 
I can only see that. See, like in my city, no one has it. Like uh, in my city, there are some two guys who have Apple Watch Sport. Those are very rich ones, like the richest one in my city. And some guys have LG G Watch, which is kinda affordable, but not that. The, those guys are very like rich too. So guys, this was pretty much my review for the Infernus ROM 4.0. Pretty good ROM actually, very very nice. Let me just show you one trick over here. Go to the applications, application manager, go to the all, and if you go right down here, app lock, just four stop it. No, you have to like run it one time. Let's just do that pretty quick. This will annoy you very lot, and if you especially like install a theme from a theme store it will just blow the shit out of you like asking for the permission every time just go to here create a win one two three four one two three four i don't know why samsung made this and it's like deep buried in this uh, like smart manager i don't like it at all my email skip i don't know that settings Uh, like after no keep it on like maximum screen log in use fingerprint scanner we don't have one prevent force stop don't activate this at all crap nice animation over there lock new as uh, like if you turn this feature off it will still uh, like force you to lock apps I don't know why go into the applications application manager App lock. I don't know why I can't disable it, but there is an option. Like if you saw my notify video, I will like disable it. So whenever the pop-up comes up, just go and disable it. It will save a lot of your time and irritation, I guess. I'm not seeing the air command over here. Okay, there it is. I love my Galaxy S4. Like literally. It has so much for this price. Like not the battery backup or the heating issues or this crappy plastic like I kept my galaxy is for like a god but it just crashed out in my pocket like this is this my sweat just scratched it off so like poor quality plastics back in 2013 if you buy this thing in 2016 it would be right away thrown with the glass and metal competition so guys, thanks for watching. This was my review for the Inferno from 4.0. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I have not forgot about that QA. I will be doing that. I will just post a like photo on the Instagram soon. So guys, see you soon. Peace.